welcome back to the channel. Slightly different this week because we are actually at work. Um, I'm currently driving down the Cornet de Roselon, which is in the French Alps. So we have a group of uh, 20 South Africans crossing from Geneva down to Nice across all the big climbs in the, uh, the French Alps. So from the last video you saw we had our um, construction permit, our permis de construire. Um, that allows us to start building. Uh, we started a little bit on the fence line but uh, as soon as we get back here from the Alps I'm getting that little mini digger out and we are going to start the groundworks, the levelling for our garage. And that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait till we get back, although I don't mind doing this either. But yeah, we just wanted to say we are still here. Um, I'm going to put a little clip of uh, another video in that uh, we got from a, um, a state television channel. And they broadcast some of our content across one billion audience. So I assume you, uh, you can guess which state TV uh, channel that was. But uh, oh yeah, I'll put that little bit into this video in a minute. So, right, I'm just gonna concentrate on getting down this big climb and I'll show you some of the views that I'm seeing, which are just unbelievable. this is uh, part two of our mini digger series where we purchased uh, this mini digger in China and I have been waiting for a long long time is the unboxing of our one ton mini digger. 视频博主伊恩和朱莉夫妇计划退休后过田园生活。于是他们在法国比利牛斯山附近买了一片面积约合零点八一公顷的土地，计划把这里改造成家庭农场。为了让农场工作轻松一些，伊恩和朱莉在网上订购了一台中国长商制造的微型挖掘机。今年三月，这
feels like I'm at the, uh, the top of the world a bit. So we're at just under 3,000, 2,770 meters on the Col de Lizaran, uh, just above the ski station of Val d'Isere. That's where you were, that's where our hotel was last night. This place is just fantastic. I'll flip you around in a minute. Um, another thing I'm doing on this trip is testing out that little orange camera. Um, I'm going to go through that in detail, uh, showing it at night and uh, showing it in the van, but it has been useful. So when we pass the cyclists, um, I can actually view them in the rear, from the rear of the trailer, sorry, um, without squishing them or pulling over too fast. And uh, if they need anything, they stick their thumbs up or wave me and uh, we stop a bit further on and fill them up with water, coke, sweets, coffee, tea. We've got everything in these vans. So Julie's going to come up in a minute um, with the rest of the guys. I'm heading off over. Um, I'm going to go down to the bottom and take any of their uh, warm clothing off them once they've uh, descended. But oh, this place is just fantastic. And very, very cold. In a previous video, I, I installed this camera onto the rear of our trailer that we use for our cycling tours. We've been using it now on the cycling tours for quite some time. And uh, yeah, it works pretty well. Um, we check out the riders uh, as they're coming past, make sure they're not right up our butts. And um, yeah, it's just good to see them coming instead of just using the mirrors all the time. It's got a great DVR function too with 128 gig capacity and uh, it basically uh, records one minute video segments so you can basically scroll through to whichever sort of time um, mark that you want. Uh, it's really good for our videos too. The night vision is, is, is fantastic too. Using the 11 uh, high powered infrared lights on the back um, it basically reaches up to 32 feet. It's been really, really useful all the way through the Pyrenees and the Alps. And uh, I'll put a link in the description. Been back two days now. Uh, we've been on the road for two weeks, well, just over two weeks. And it's the first chance I've had in over two weeks to come on to the uh, homestead and I'm terrified to see what's going on in the polytunnel behind me. I don't know what that is, but I didn't plant it. I have no idea. Well, it's gonna be a surprise. Whatever it is, it's spread like wildfire. I don't have to look too far. Yeah, my courgettes. Well, I think he's a marrow now. There's another one in there as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. The courgettes have turned into marrows. Oh, I'm getting ready. I'm closing my eyes. I don't want to look. Oh, dear. I don't want to see. Okay, here goes. Be brave, Jules. Oh dear, what's gone on in here? My gosh, it's a jungle. It truly is a jungle. It was. It didn't look like this two, just over two weeks ago. Ugh. What's gone on here though? Um, well, Oh my gosh, look at the leaves. Oh, look at something. What is this? Okay. There's ladybirds on it. Oh. But there's ladybird. Uh, oh, it's baby bird. ladybirds. Oh. I've come back out to see what this actually is. I haven't planted it. But. I've looked down and look, baby cucumbers. Wow, I'm just, I've got a forest of cucumbers, self-seeded. We found beans, our first little crop of beans. I went a bit mad last year and did too many. 
This is a plant that wasn't looking too healthy when we've left, but we've come back and it's a baby gala melon. My first ever melon. Well, I now know what I need to do. I'm just going to bury myself in here and sort it once and for all. Uh, it's great to be back uh, on the homestead and uh, we'll soon be building this week. We're going down on site and uh, we're going to start the groundworks on the, uh, for the garage. Um, the Chinese uh, coverage of our channel, that was uh, part of a, like a Black Friday event they have in China called 618 Day, where uh, it's a huge sort of discounted shopping and they wanted to show um, basically their products going out to uh, other sort of markets. And uh, yeah, they, they called us up for it first and uh, we said, yeah, use what you want. So no, it's just, just gets us out and uh, it's helped the company we bought the mini digger from they've had a lot of inquiries uh, internally for that so um we're going to get on get some uh, building done hopefully for the next video and uh thanks for watching please uh thumbs up share the video with all your friends and uh hit that subscribe if you haven't hit it and we will see you in the next video thanks so much Bye bye